Chile's left-wing president Gabriel Boric had joined peaceful demonstrators marching to Santiago's General Cemetery to pay homage to fallen former president Salvador Allende. But suddenly, it all turned ugly. A group of men and women in black, their faces covered, attacked the crowd and tried to rush the presidential palace. Many were injured as riot police moved in. But on the eve of the 50th anniversary of Chile's 1973 military coup, thousands continued marching to the cemetery, many carrying photos of victims of the former military dictatorship under General Augusto Pinochet. Juan Paulo Letelier's father was one of them. This is a day of remembrance, a day of human rights, a day where we remember what happened 50 years ago. But the march was interrupted repeatedly. The tear gas is getting much, much stronger here. Uh, glass bottles and Molotov cocktails are being thrown back there, but not at the police, but rather at some members of the socialist and communist parties that made up part of President Allende's government 50 years ago, but also the new government of Gabriel Boric, President Gabriel Boric, whom they are now calling traitor. Inside the cemetery itself, riot police brought in water cannon trucks and tear gas vans to chase demonstrators, even around the tomb of former President Allende. At the Museum of Memory, a more emotional scene, as a survivor of one of the dictatorship's interrogation and torture centers embraced Brazilian Avandro Tejeda, the photographer who had photographed him in 1973 in a dungeon when he was 15 years old. Two weeks ago I saw this photo in a poster and contacted the Brazilian embassy because I am a survivor of the National Stadium incident. And that photo is also my brother Gerardo. He was 24 years old and he was never seen again. The commemoration of the overthrow of the world's first democratically elected socialist president on September 11, 1973 is not over. But after half a century, it's a date that continues to unleash pain and confrontations. Lucia Newman Al Jazeera, Santiago. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.